Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to my page. My name is Jessica. Here we talk about universal reconciliation, which is the salvation of all mankind, each in their own order. Don't mind the messy hair. I'm getting ready to work out. Um, so in case you don't get snatched away this year, at least I'll have a nice summer body. So today I'm going to talk about that God is love and he even loves his enemies. His enemies will be saved eventually. God is not a hypocrite. God does love all people. That includes his enemies because God is described as love. Um, he's actually called love twice in 1 John chapter 4, verses 8 and 16. Uh, verse 8 says, uh, for God is love. And it's a little before and after that. You can read that if you want. Now, a lot of people get hooked on the Old Testament God, including myself. Um, but I come to learn that God hates the wickedness of the wicked. He hates evil and sin. Yes, he created evil and sin. He is the creator of dark and of light, uh, but it's for a good purpose. Uh, ultimately, evil is used for a good purpose. Everything God creates is good. Um, so also the Old Testament laws, there were like 10 of them and I think 613 other laws, they were made out of love from God to protect his people from harm. That's why there were so many laws because they just couldn't they just weren't able to like, they just didn't know the difference between good and evil. So God made the law to show the difference. He had that contrast. Now, we all know that Jesus is the perfect um, image of God. And um, Jesus came to fulfill the law. And how did he fulfill the law? Well, he fulfilled it by love. You see in Galatians 4, or five fourteen. Galatians 5, 14 from the Concordant Literal Bible. It says, for the entire law is fulfilled in one word. In this, you shall love your associate as yourself. So God is love and love doesn't give up on people. Love doesn't torture people in some um, fiery chamber for the rest of their lives for no good reason, um, other than that they sin for 75 years of their life. Like that's not how love works. Um, so we can rest assured that God's love is going to, to transform even the most wicked person in due time um also in due time he will deliver the entire creation that includes celestial beings and bring good out of all the suffering if you'd like to learn more more about that check out my comment um they pinned below so i just want to leave off with first timothy six thirteen. it states i am charging you in the sight of god who is vivifying all and of Jesus Christ. So he's vivifying all. All means all. All does not mean some or a certain denomination. All means all. God's nature is love and it's unconditional love. He knew people were going to sin from the start. He set it up that way so we would fall. So we see a stark contrast. Um, of course, the wicked, there will be judgment. They don't get off free. Um, there's a great white throne judgment. There's a second death. And who knows after that. But eventually all will be... Um, back with God and God will be all in all. Jesus himself said in Luke 6.35, I'll leave off with this one. Luke 6.35, it's kind of long. Moreover, be loving your enemies and be doing good and be letting, expecting nothing from them and your wages will be vast in the heavens and you'll be the sons of the most high. For he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. God is kind to them. He is not torturing them forever. Again, if you'd like to hear about the real, true evangel, check out my comment below. Um, I got to get going. I meet up with some people to work out. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.